safety or something. <laughs> I don't know. About I just get safety, but... with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I get bored with it, and I don't know. It ends up being on the back burner with family and work and everything else. It just ends up, you know, I, I, and it's hard for me to fully concentrate on it. So I don't know. I'll we eventually. Got... <laughs> we got one of those smart people that, that that gets into school and they start doing really good, then they get bored with it and just don't do it anymore. You're just yeah. overly you're just yeah, overly smart, sis. That's what it is. You're just overly smart. Yeah, I don't know about that, but <laughs> hey, now come on. <laughs> but thank oh, you. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you think about Mr. Benny, man? We got we got we got we got some pretty cool little little info that that some people really didn't know about him like he has a dog named grits you know that's <laughs> <laughs> that's epic man I'm, I'm gonna have to take a box of grits up there with me i ain't talking about br- yeah. finding some grits you know i have to i have to bring some <laughs> make my manager eat them instead of cream of wheat eat some grits and some real food <laughs> yeah there's some cheese in them bad boys you know, you know, a lot of people don't know how to eat grits. You know, a lot of people what is think. Grit? Hold on, hold on. What is it even made of? <laughs> what is a grit? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you kill some shit and like, that's a grit or is it vegetarian? <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> do you kill some shit? <laughs> So sorry, man. <laughs> there, it's Jay. basically like um God, I don't even know how to explain it. Um It's a plant. <laughs> oh, okay. Tony said it's, are you I mean serious? I've I've seen this shit before. It looked like mashed potatoes, but I didn't know, you know, is it a fruit? Is it you do you kill some I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a it's a, a grit. Corn. It's made from corn, and it's just ground into like um, into like a coarse meal, <laughs> and then it's boiled. And you like I like cheese in mine, so I put cheese in mine. Um, but you put butter and salt, pepper. It's pretty yeah. Good. See, a lot of people, a lot of people get it mixed up with cream of wheat. You know, grits. Yes, <laughs> it's made from corn. It's it's smashed down so much to to where it's almost like a powder, but it's not. And a lot of people, they'll take, yes, you do boil water and, and whatnot. You got your instant grits where you can throw in a microwave, but real grits, you actually cook on the stove. And mm-hmm. a lot of people want to dump a shitload of sugar into it because it doesn't really have a taste. But like Jay was saying, if you throw some cheese and some oh. salt and pepper and butter in there, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, what the hell's the point of eating something that has no taste? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you got to flavor it up, man. That's where the salt and pepper and butter yeah. comes in. It's, yeah, you put the butter and, like I said, with cheese, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so, so there's your homework for the day, Aries, is find your local IHOP, or you could come up to IHOP on Cox, but you're not in North Carolina. <laughs> we actually have a road called Cox Road, and there's an IHOP on it, and it's been, it's been a joke in Gaston County for fucking years. Let's go to IHOP on Cox. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> But Tony, no, man. Tony says butter and salt. That yeah. I mean, butter and salt. That just sounds like fucking no good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love butter and salt, but right now I'm on a diet, and so that shit just looks like it is all bad. <laughs> no, nah, it's not, man. I mean, it's good. You can do butter, salt, pepper, sugar. Ron says some people like jelly in it. You know, I'll, I'll take I'll take and fry some sausage up. You know, make some grits. <laughs> Uh, I know one thing that was big whenever I was growing up, even though I don't talk to him anymore, but my dad would make grits and hard boiled eggs and, uh, you know, you do the salt, pepper, butter, and the grits and then throw your hard boiled eggs in there and just kind of chop them up. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, man, that you have to experiment with to get the taste to like the way you like it. it it's more of a breakfast, breakfast food than anything. <laughs> Ground kernels boiled with milk or water. Yeah. A dish. Cursely of uh, ground corn kennels and boiled with water or milk. I've never made it with milk, but I no, have me water. <laughs> Might have to try that out. Huh. I had some salmon stew, man. That just made me think of some salmon stew. Thanks, Ron. 
You said <laughs> hold on. You said salmon, like the salmon, fish. Salmon stew, yeah. You never had salmon you stew, know, man. We gotta get you accustomed to the southeast, man. Look, <laughs> I just tried. I just tried salmon for the first time two weeks ago, and since then I've eaten it three more times. Like it's so good. And yeah, I just never liked fish my whole life. Or you know, if you get a um, if you go to a grocery store and get you a cedar plank. And you take the cedar plank and you uh, you soak it in water, and then you put that on the grill. So whenever your grill's nice and hot, put that cedar plank on the grill and throw your salmon on top of that cedar plank. And they make yeah. a they make a little sauce. It's like a dill mustard sauce that you can put on top of. Oh, it's fucking epic, dude! But yeah, salmon stew, man. It's like uh, you big old pot. You put uh, three quarters of milk and then a quarter of water. Dump you some salmon in the bottom of it. Um, salt, pepper, butter, let it boil up. And uh, I usually take saltine crackers and, and crush them up on a plate and pour the salmon stew over it and then put ketchup on top. <laughs> ketchup. Yeah. Sounds good, though. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, oh, that, yeah I put ketchup on my salmon, yeah. What? Hey. I um, eat a lot of fish, but my mom um, used to make really good salmon stew. Um, I haven't eaten it in forever, though, but... But yeah, ketchup. I can't imagine ketchup on it, but if you guys say so. <laughs> oh, it's epic. It's epic. It's a Conwell tradition on my side. Tony said go to uh go to your local waffle house uh over there in Orlando uh Aries and tell them that you want a bowl of grits. Tell them make sure they bring plenty of butter though, so that way you can put butter in there. I mean you got your salt and pepper <laughs> and sugar at the table. <laughs> he said go to Waffle House. Actually, which is the prime place to get you some grits. <laughs> It is, and if you want to, try it with cheese. Like I said, it's really good if you like cheese. <laughs> well, Ron, they don't have grits at Bojangles, and that makes me wonder why. Why does Bojangles not have grits? You ever thought about that, sis? That's fucked up, ain't it? I, it is kind of weird, but I don't. I don't really like. Like I said before, Bojangles. It's not my my thing, really. Sorry, yeah, guys. It's, it's just, all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's not. Oh, Sorry. lordy, lordy. I'm getting, I'm getting hammered over here. Um, yeah, man. Damn. Well, well, whenever you get to come up here, man, I'll, uh, I, trust me, I'll, 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 I'll treat you to some, to some good Southeastern delicacies. Uh, <laughs> we'll take you, we'll take you to Aro's Barbecue down here in town. Aro's Barbecue has been on the, the Food Network for one of the top places to eat barbecue in America. Um, take yeah, you there. My son works there. Does he? Yeah, I told you this like a million That's times. Right. Yeah, tell him he, he needs to bring there. me some down. He, he needs to bring me you some slaw sandwches. <laughs> Make sure you tip him good if you go there. Right, right, right. They got they got, Tyler. <laughs> they got a thing at Aro's called barbecue slaw. They just put the barbecue slaw in between two pieces of bread. It's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, they actually sell it in the grocery stores. It's so good. Oh, they got it in Man. the grocery stores now. Epic. Yeah, they got it in grocery stores. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's okay. Hey, Ron. Ron just hit a point right now. He's talking about uh, country hand biscuits, seasoned fries, and sweet tea. You know, that's one thing that people don't understand. Like, sweet tea in the South. Once you have sweet tea in the South, <laughs> you know, I was living in California for the last four years, and I couldn't find one place that understood what the fuck sweet tea was. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this is not fucking sweet tea. It tastes like water. Exactly. And I this shit. Like, you know, and that's, it, it's funny because it's, it is, it's right here on the Southeast, you know, the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, Bama, Mississippi. But once you get out past Bama a little bit, it starts to dwindle away. Like I remember being in Texas of all places and ran into restaurants that didn't serve sweet tea. I was like, and you call yourself, no, you're the Midwest. You're not the South. <laughs> Great state of Texas, but no, nah, you and people got to learn how to make it. You got to boil that, your tea bags. That, Go ahead. No, that, well, that was my first experience with sweet tea, actually, was when I moved from, in eighth grade, I moved from California to uh, to Texas. Yeah. And uh, my friend's mom, she had, you know, she would make it, and it was in this jug. And I was like, I was like, bro, you know, <laughs> what the hell? Like, why isn't she selling this shit? I didn't know that that's how sweet tea tasted everywhere in Texas. Like... <laughs> You know, I thought like I stumbled on some shit. I was about to start a whole fucking, you know, like Empire. business and shit. Yeah, I was like, hey, we're gonna fill up these milk jugs and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do things. But yeah, that was definitely something new. Every time I go to their house, 
she would make one while I was there, and she would yeah. make one for me to take home. Nice. And I called it Gina Juice because her name was Gina. <laughs> and I was like, man, that shit is special. I'm telling you, man. So so when you're at home, fill your pot up, put you about five or six tea bags in there, boil it, and have you like a cup and a half, two cups of sugar in your pitcher, and pour, pour that hot tea over it and stir it up, and then add your cold water and your ice. You got to do it that way. Got to have hot tea and the sugar mixed together. Can't do cold tea and sugar mixed together. That's where the taste gets thrown off. Because you get a lot of people in these restaurants and stuff, you order, oh, we don't have sweet tea, but you can put sugar in it. It's, like, it's still not the same. It's just not the same. Nah. <laughs> it doesn't and just, and blend as well because the, the water is cold, so it right. just kind of floats to the bottom. But go. then you could just put it in the refrigerator, right? Or you just put ice. You put <clears throat> ice in it, right? Well, I mean, after after you let the hot tea and the sugar melt together, then you put yeah. then you fill it up the rest of the way with you know your your cold water or your or your ice or whatnot. So that way, the sugar and the tea actually melts and and blends together. Because <clears throat> if you don't do it that way, then like then like uh, <laughs> sorry, Tony. <laughs> So, like, like Jay said, if you don't mix, if you mix it up with cold tea and, and sugar, then that sugar is just going to float to the damn bottom, and it's just going to settle. You got to mix the two together. You know, a lot of people use like Splenda and shit like that. It still don't taste the same. Sugar, yeah. hot tea, stir it together, cold water, ice, done. <laughs> Tony's like, oh damn it, BC, you making me miss Virginia now, man. Fuck Virginia, come down to the Carolinas. <laughs> Sorry, man. I ain't 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 got nothing good out of Virginia the whole time, entire time I was there. <laughs> just picking, man. Just picking. Yeah, Virginia's a wannabe Southern state. Just saying. <clears throat> just saying. <laughs> but yeah, man. We'll uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely take you around, man. Um, I got a I got a smoker over at my brother's house. Uh, we we can smoke some meat and stuff like that too, man. But I'll take you to a couple of spots uh, here in town. Is uh is it's just phenomenal uh it really is i mean I mean, you've probably been to a logan's before but there's something about the logan's here in gastonia that just beats everybody else's i don't know what it is but the logan steakhouse here is just phenomenal um zucchini fried zucchini i've had fried zucchini ron um i've actually no. uh Fried zucchini's good but he was talking about zucchini bread i've never oh, heard of zucchini bread i have Really? I haven't I haven't I haven't never tried it either. It sounds good though. <laughs> I hear you, Tony. I hear you, bro. Yeah, I never, never had zucchini bread. Now I've had fried zucchini. I've actually made like instead of chicken parm, I did like a zucchini parmesan before. I actually actually Tony, uh, you know what? I'll take that back. I did have a girl actually teach me how to make the zucchini parmesan while I was living in in Virginia. I will take that back. <laughs> there is some there is a couple of good things that came out of Virginia. <laughs> ah, so what you got on the books for today, homeboy? What you, what you getting into? We gotta, you know, um, like I said last night, I just made a new song, and uh, I wanted to make another one. Like I'm just really feeling like I got a lot to say, um, but I just got tired too. It was like four o'clock right. in the morning, and I'm I'm getting old, man. Like I got. I turned 30 in two months. I'm hitting that age where, like, I cannot oh, no. stay up oh, no. more not than 30. 24 hours. Like, I, I have to get my sleep at night, so. <clears throat> not, not 30. When I used to be. Huh? <laughs> not 30. <laughs> When's your birthday, yeah, man? Yeah. Is it in March? April. April? Okay, mine's in March. You said a couple months. I was like, oh, shit, we might have birthdays around the same time. Because I turned 38 March. <laughs> yeah, early, it's, it's early April. Early That's April. Team Aries. That's what's up. That's what's up. But yeah, so just you know, I'm. I want to make some music, and so uh, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. But I also got this bunny, so I might play with the bunny for a little bit. And <laughs> be careful and don't eat the little black pellets that's in your cereal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember having two bunnies whenever I was younger, uh, living uh, living out on on in apartments. Actually, I had a golf course behind us. Funny. Um, and we had two bunnies that stayed on our porch. I swear to God, there's little pellets fucking everywhere. It's like, damn, they get, you walk outside, they get scared and they shit. <laughs> you yeah. pick them up, they get scared and shit. About, you want to talk about black pellets in your cereal? It kind of just reminded me of this story. So 
when I was young in my first apartment that I lived in, um, we had just moved in and uh, it was early morning. So I went to the kitchen and I started making me, you know, a bowl of